What's going on, Workforce? Brian here. Chris here. And today, we're talking about Call of Duty Black Ops 4, giving our breakdown, our individual reviews, put together, Brian and Chris style, for work to game. <laughs> so, Chris, um, we've both spent uh, at least two weeks playing this game. I have, to, I have a very strong and excited opinion about it. We were talking about this this weekend, and I thought... You know what? Why do an individual review? Let's review this thing together. Um, talk to me about uh, Black Ops Four. So I, I've got I've got a lot of opinions here. So I actually have two videos that'll come on the tails of this one that talk about reasons that maybe it is a good game and it's not a good game. But let's just kind of summarize here. It is really three games in one. So what mm -hmm. they've done for an annualized platform is they've released more game, in my opinion, than ever before. Um, we don't really have the single player mission style uh, storyline and because of that we don't get as many new maps um, because a lot of those seem to be pulled from the theme of the new the new story mode. Uh, but we really have multiplayer blackout and zombies and so I would really want to give them each kind of their own score and then mm -hmm. you know let people kind of decide after that and I've played a lot. I've played every single day since it released at least one match. Yeah. Um, some days quite a bit more than one match. <laughs> uh, I think that for an annualized game, I'm never shocked when Activision doesn't innovate, but I'm always disappointed when they don't innovate. Yeah. Nothing here in yeah. multiplayer is truly new, but the other side of that is that Activision puts out incredibly polished product. Because they never risk innovation, because they don't spend a bunch of time being inventive, everything just works like the number of little technical issues i've had and the size that those technical issues have been it's like oh it closed our lobby at the end of the game after i saw the stats and our party reforms in like under five seconds like that's as bad as it's really been for us uh occasionally somebody's client closes but not very often i mean it's it's been a handful of times and it's usually between matches so i, I think they put out an incredibly polished product here mm -hmm. um what are your initial thoughts, Brian? Uh, this is the first um, Call of Duty game since Modern Warfare 2 that I was excited about. This is the first Call of Duty uh, game since Modern Warfare 2 that I I have I can't stop playing. I'm I'm wanting to play it. I'm wanting to I'm I'm wanting to say I'm not going to make this video with Chris because I want to log in and play that game right now. I am having awful that to me. <laughs> you had said that instead of recording this we could be playing right now then yes <laughs> so um i am loving uh like every aspect there ha like the things that you've talked to me and that you'll share here in this video um i i'm just you're like oh i don't like this i'm like really i love that there's ultimate abilities you're like okay i don't like this really i love that uh just how the game feels now the first thing i i have to do though because the things that you brought up you brought up some really, uh, you know, uh, think things talking about like balance and like, there, you know, we have a progression system in a shooter in which that it's like, okay, you got to go grind uh, and you're going to grind your head on the wall until you can finally get good because not only are people right now two weeks a month by Christmas time when people get the, more people get the game, you know, you're several months behind. Not only do people know maps, not only do they have a kind of a, a concept of weapons, it feels like a grind because there really isn't any true matchmaking. And so for me, the first thing mentally I get over in my mind is it's not a competitive game. It's it's a grief game. You know, it's, it's a game of you go in and, I, you know, I might, uh, and it shows and matches where, oh, it's uh, 74 to 10. And it's like, okay, well, maybe the, the lobby will rebalance itself or maybe, you know, nope, uh, the next nope. round. And eventually you're like, all right, we're going to leave the lobby and hope to God we don't get put back into that same lobby. Um, and I'm saying this while probably at the same time the editor in me is going to overlay footage of me going 33 and 0 uh, <laughs> in a match, and and it's just like and when you get on those rolls, it's insane. It feels so good. The multiplayer, um, the problem I have, the only thing I don't like about Black Ops 4 is that I'm presented with three amazing games. I love Horde Mode Zombies. I've always been a fan of that. I'm a big fan of Gears of War for that uh, that concept. I love uh, about you know. I love the uh, the battle royale, and so you have blackout, and that's a standard. It is, you know, we say like, what's different from PUBG? It works. Uh, it works. I, mean, I haven't had any technical problems with blackout whatsoever. It is a fun, exciting, well designed game. It's got 
Uh, there's so many moments of anticipation. Uh, you have that breakout excitement and intensity that could be followed by just quiet and, you know, then you're scrambling and it's, I love it. You get a freaking helicopter and you're flying around. I, it is, um, there is moment to moment, uh, really lots of fun. The only times obviously you don't have fun and the game will ask you. And I think this is, you know, you know, we could speculate this is Activision doing their, uh, we're trying to make sure that, you know, people spend money and, and, and bull crap that, that Activision and EA kind of pull off from time to time. But at the end of the day, the only times that you're not having fun is when like you get spawn camped in uh, in the multiplayer mode and it's like okay well um we're just feeding them kills and then they have 20 helicopters throwing down every kind of like you're just like oh you you kind of the game the multiplayer has a way of you kind of if you get on that steamroll you know that train and it's not that it's happening to us but we're also i mean i don't like it when we're doing it to them as well because fun. yeah it's, it's not like fun. oh it's well um now. okay sorry guys like it's you know, I, I, it's fun when you have that moment to moment, like, oh man, he definitely outshot me on that one. Or like, oh, I totally, like I killed his kill streak and now we're going and, and, uh, and, and the tide turns. So it's, um, but I do feel like when you look at and compare it to like games like Halo and games like Destiny, um, I do feel like from a matchmaking system, it is really, I, I'm not seeing it. Maybe, maybe it's going on behind the scenes. I just don't see it where it's like, hey, listen, let's try to, let's try to find the most even match possible um, it's like, it's like, Hey, listen, let's find the best connection. And that's fine. Like the fact is, is you get in, you get in quick. There's not a lot, there's not a lot of downtime. And the thing, the overall, the, the, the piece de resistance, uh, that, that comes into play. Uh, I took French, <laughs> that's the whole thing. But, uh, the, uh, is that they have a, a operation first strike and a Halloween event going on right now. And it's done Fortnite style. And I actually like the Fortnite system. The cool thing is, is that because this is not a free to play game and you buy it, these are events that are open to you. So I'm playing now, unlocking uh, and leveling up, going into, I'm about to get into the prestige system. I've already started prestiging weapons. And now I'm also progressing in these two operations and that's unlocking unique things that are time and theme based. And I'm just like, again, like the game keeps me in. And my wife is like, hey, Brian, can we play some Call of Duty tonight? I'm like, yes, we can. Oh my gosh, like not only are you hot, but you're, you like to play video games with me. Like I, you know, I'm just like, this is the best. Marriage is amazing. <laughs> but uh, so I love every aspect of this game. And it's so fun. Like, so this is such a counter thing because I did not really like WW2. You know, I, I wasn't able to come into it right away um, because I had, uh, I had other commitments that when our game night happens that everybody was like, I, I can't play on Wednesdays. I'll see you guys in the summer. Um, and so I kind of came in, it was World War II, and I, I appreciated the game, like for everything it did. Um, this, I'm just like, I cannot wait till Wednesday. I am playing it all the time. Julie is, the, the question is, do we want to watch a movie tonight or do we want to play some Call of Duty? And nine times out of 10, Call of Duty has been winning for us. I don't, I don't know how long that's gonna run, but it's been two weeks and my wife is still asking. And she's not gonna sit here and say that she's like a pro player. But she's inching her way up as the more she plays to a 1.0 EKDA. So I'm just like, yeah. okay, let's do it. Now the EKIA, EKIA I, yeah. that's, it's one of my bigger fears with what the game does long-term to the community. Yeah. Um, so, to, so your EKIA is how many kills you participated in mm -hmm. over the number of times you died. Yeah. And so what that means is that everybody is based on the stats of the people I know, um, a good 20% above where they should be uh, in number of kills. Mm -hmm. And because that's about how many assists you get for every time you kill. Yeah. And so what that means is that you have people who have a, a KD that's positive and they are not positive. And so I do have a fear that this game kind of coddles you a little bit. Um, I'm sure there's a pun in there somewhere. And uh, <laughs> it's, it's kind of, it just, it says like, oh no, you're fine, you're doing great. You're not. You're not doing great. Like you're. You're not. Like it's. It's objective. It's a. It's a kill base, especially in team deathmatch. There's one objective: kill them more times than they kill you. So if you're killing more times than you're dying, then you're doing good. Otherwise, you're hurting your team. Mm -hmm. uh, so. I say, I say utility, man. Utility, utility. It's like I'm helping you, and you might not have gotten that kill, but because I'm doing my role, I'm doing my class that you did. 
I think that all counts. I think it, I think it all, I think it matters. I mean, it doesn't track it well enough. It doesn't, their version of score is really goofy. There are classes that get really high score. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Medic. That, that add a lot. Yeah. Medic. They get high score that don't add a lot. And there are classes that don't get high score that are a huge help. And there are classes that don't get a high score that, that that's cause they don't help. Okay. So mm -hmm. I was going to just uh, jump in and say like, okay, so that's mine. Like break it down. What, what, what do you love about this game? What do you not like about this game? Because I, I, if somebody, if somebody like some random stranger on the train, Brian, hey, random stranger, should I get Call of Duty Black Ops 4? And I say, are you an adult? And I'm assuming that, you know, I'm, I'm assuming I can't see them and obviously tell that they're an adult. They are an adult. I say, go out and get this game. Should I play with this game with my kids? Absolutely Incredibly not. Graphic. Absolutely it's incredibly not. graphic. Yeah. And you can turn uh, it off, but it's like a, of anything I remember out of a Call of Duty game. Yeah, we don't play uh, this game until the kids are in bed. You know, that's now just, it asked you about graphic settings turned on. I haven't gone back and tried to turn them off, but I turned them on. And I was like, yeah, okay, it's not gonna be like war. Oh, it is gonna be Gears of War. Uh, I mean, it's not gonna saw you like top to bottom, but that's only because we don't have saws. Not <laughs> it's not gory enough. Yeah. Um, the first time somebody hits you with a grenade launcher and it it like takes off a limb, you're like, whoa, that was intense. The first time somebody comes around the corner and point blank hits you with a grenade launcher, I really just hope you're ready because yeah. it caught me totally off guard um, because that is, that is, it was a graphic. So um, the, the, I, the blackout mode is everything PUBG promised to be with none of the technical issues. And so it is just that Activision polish. They didn't really reinvent the wheel here. It's, it's, COD style gunplay, it's COD style guns, it's COD style map design. You recognize areas. I think Nuketown's in there somewhere. Mm, yep. So we, they literally they didn't even like reinvent a new map. They kind of took a lot of classic maps and recombined them into this one big region. And, um, you know, it has its own version of the bubble and its own version of, you know, care packages and all the things that you see in these games. There's no building because that's a Fortnite thing. Um, so it's a lot more like the PUBG and it in also in its graphic style and stuff like that. Um, you can queue as, as ones, twos, and fours, I think. Um, and so it's very well polished. I'm not an enormous battle royale game. It is everything that I want it to be. Uh, I just didn't really need a battle royale game. So I didn't really have a high standard, but it definitely cleared it. Zombies is incredibly fun. Uh, I've always liked those kind of horde style or tower defense style games. And I love them even more with multiplayer with one exception. I know what he's going to say. Tower defenses and horde mode, like invasion, seeing how far we can make it. Um, I don't know why, but in like my whole life, people driving 10 or more mile an hour, the speed limit and people who don't know how to play zombies are like the two people that get under my skin the fastest. Like I am literally, I have five shots in my gun. It takes two shots. If they're not a headshot to kill zombies, there are four zombies coming at me. And you were like, I'm looking at the wall and there's a glowing weapon. How do I get a new gun? Oh my God. Like, don't talk to me. Don't, don't do it. And like it's Pete and I'm playing and I'm only playing with people I know in real life in voice chat. I mm -hmm. always, I always go create a private party so that I don't talk to strangers because I just have found that it's not worth the gamble. Yeah. And so I, I'm only talking to people that I know and love people that I cherish being in my life. Brian's wife is so much fun to play with. My friend Itai e e is was literally the best man at my wedding, and we were playing with them the one night, and they both had questions, and I just I was like, I'm gonna have to mute myself. You're like, like Brian, can, can we go? I, can we go just into? I cannot. I cannot eat. I cannot be nice, and I cannot say nothing at all. Yeah. Like I, I can't, and so I don't know why that game mode does that to me. It's just so tense. But if you get if you get through those first few rounds, it's really easy to pick up. So once we answered their questions. I think if we played a few more rounds that night, it would have just turned into the most fun night I've had in a long time. Yeah. Uh, and I don't need you to be good. I just need you to know what you were trying to do. You what don't have to achieve it at all. I just need you to have the plan and understand the base mechanics of the game. And after that, let's just have fun and die to some zombies. Yeah. Because uh, you're going to Multiplayer is on the fence of being something incredible. So there are two types of multiplayer game. There are competitive multiplayer games and there are not competitive multiplayer games. Yeah. So in the competitive bracket, I would put things like Halo. There is an inherent matchmaking system. It's matching you between every single match. You can you can match it in individual tiers all the way up to teams. It's it's you all start with the same gun, regardless of how long you've been playing the game. 
Um, the maps are very well curated within that, that, you know, and it's not that Halo doesn't have kind of more social aspects. They literally have social playlists, mm -hmm. but as a core game, they are ready to be tournament level. Non-competitive, I'd like to put forward things like um, Mario Party, right? You can be way better than me at Mario Party, and I can lose to you because Bowser gave you my stars for no good reason. I landed on bad spots for no good reason. Like I could be, I could be somebody in every single mini game and still lose, and vice versa. I don't have to be good at Mario Party to win. Um, so, like Smash Brothers is one of those games that really teeters both ways. There is a ranked scene, but that ranked scene is incredibly curated because, as a whole, the game leans way more social. Mm -hmm. This game plays like a social game, but the number of maps, the number of guns and stuff is restricted, so you would think it was a ranked game. There's only 27 weapons, there's only like a dozen maps. It should be, they should have really thought through those 12 maps. Like when they picked old maps to be in the game, they should have thought, okay, that old map, whether or not it was good at the time, how's it gonna play now that we added all these special abilities, all these kill streaks? It's not gonna play well, I can tell you that. Like some of these maps are way too small for the abilities they gave us. Mm -hmm. um, so what they should have done instead is if they weren't ready to create Call of Duty's first actually balanced multiplayer, then they should have leaned into the social in my opinion. So I think it's a great game, but we should be getting a new, a new, a classic map added every five to 10 days, constantly. Okay. We should get a new gun for everything we do. You prestiged, here's a new gun. You killed, you fired a thousand pistol shots across all the pistols. Here's a new gun. You hit prestige two with five or more weapons. Here's a new gun. And so, yeah, you start with 27 weapons, but you're unlocking out of our 670 every weapon of all time and just go nuts. Because if you're not going to spend the time to balance things, then lean into that super variety where there's just this unlimited amount of game to enjoy. Uh, and they didn't do that. So I'm kind of on the fence about multiplayer. It depends on what you're looking for. If you just want Call of Duty multiplayer where everybody's currently playing, then you're not even watching this video because yeah. they annualize yep. it and you have to play whatever they put out, good or bad. Yeah, and next year it's going to be something different. Yep. New change next November. Um, I liked World War II until they made major changes like halfway through. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see what this one does. So overall, two really good modes. One mode that it's, it's Call of Duty. It, it, do you like Call of Duty? Then yeah, buy it. Do you hate Call of Duty? Then no, don't buy it. Uh. <laughs> easy, easy decision. <laughs> now the, the only, the only, the thing the the game changer might be um, the blackout mode because from a from a polished non you know building you know battle royale you know because that's the thing it's like oh you know, if you're not good at building um, in Fortnite then there's no reason to go play it because that's going to be the difference maker. That's that's the mechanic. Uh, shooting is the secondary mechanic, um, in my opinion. Uh, and so that's kind of where uh, this could, you know, the question we'll have to see because the, the biggest question of all being that this is an annualized franchise, what happens with Blackout in uh, next October? Uh, because if it's like, oh, everybody starts over, oh, new map, oh, new game, then for me, the, 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 the draw of PUBG and the draw of Fortnite is that it's an, you're kind of investing in your, in your future fun. Like, man, I was there when this and I lived through this moment. But if it becomes, um, if their battle royale becomes this kind of standard, um, you know, mode that it's that's persistent across games, it feels like making the investment in time and unlocking characters and learning strategies plays out two years, four years down the road. And so that's going to be the real kicker um, for it. Uh, for me, I'd say to everybody who's asked, uh, it really, it's more like, you know, are you going to play this with your kids and how old are they? Um, do you like uh, do you like shooters? Do you have friends who are playing? And if the answer is to all that, this is an absolute buy. Um, I am loving it, loving it, loving it. In fact, uh, like I said, I wish I was playing it right now, <laughs> and I'll be playing it tonight and the, probably the <laughs> probably the rest of this week. Uh, and who knows? Probably going up until uh, Fan Fest, and then um, maybe I should bring my Xbox with me and I can play it in the hotel. That's actually a really good idea. We might do that because it does support split screen. Um, it's not the ideal way to play. Um, you know, I do like that when games support it because not everybody is lucky to have TVs and setups, um, you know, and things like that. So it's really nice as an option. But my wife and I were playing split screen and she's like, just go into the office. Harder. She's like, just go into the office and we'll get on voice chat. I love you. You know, I love you. Let's have fun. Um, so that's it. That's the, uh, that's our review. Um, it's definitely, I, I, it's definitely a buy. Chris. Uh, I think you say kind of, you know, buy for your specific reasons. 
Um, yeah, um, it just depends on what you're looking for. We were looking for a arcade style first person shooter that none of us had played that we knew all of the multiplayer and stuff, the servers would be stable enough. Like we don't want, okay, we don't play for very long as a group every week. So we just want it to work right out of the box on day one mm -hmm. and, and Call of Duty hits all that. But yeah. Halo, when a new Halo rolls out, will also hit all of that. So I would go where my friends are all like, hey, are we getting, are we getting Black Ops? If you guys are getting it, I'm in, I'm in. I know it's that good of a game. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have gotten it on my own um, because I'm not, into the blackout mode as much and zombies isn't it's been in a yeah. lot of, Call of Duty games and yeah. i don't forget much time in it because i don't really do it alone i do it with friends who have done it before right <laughs> all right guys uh thanks so much for watching this video let us know what you think are you pro black ops are you anti <laughs> uh let us know in the, in the comments below what you're thinking about the game uh and let us know if you have any questions about it chris you got any final thoughts no that's it all right guys for work to game my name is brian my name's chris thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you next time Take care. Hey, beautiful. Did anybody ever tell you that we want you as a part of the workforce? That's right. The workforce needs you. Yes, you on YouTube or wherever this video is shared. Like, favorite, share, sub, dance, join, military, jump up and down. You know, you know the drill. Anyway, we totally want you part of the workforce. Join the workforce. Or don't. Either way, we hope you come back. Hope you have a good day. Peace. Chuck Charles out.